Hello, Dan Alasso with Making History again. And this morning I wanted to update you on my obsidian graph. I have been finding it a little bit difficult to process new incoming content that was finding its way into my vault via the Readwise integration. Kindle and Hypothesis are continually feeding new annotations and new notes into Readwise, and then Readwise is transferring them into a Readwise inbox every time I open Obsidian, which is great. That's just what's supposed to be happening. Problem was, there were hundreds of articles and books in the folders in that inbox. So it really wasn't possible for me to see the new stuff that was being added. If I made some notes in Hypothesis on an article that I had assigned to my class, for example, these would be faithfully transferred into Obsidian, but they were kind of unavailable to me because I couldn't easily find them. Sometimes I couldn't even remember exactly what the name was of that article that I had assigned. My solution was to zero out these three inboxes by moving all of their contents to my undifferentiated list of notes in the main graph. So basically the main part of the vault. What's the point of this, you ask? Well, it will make it possible for me to do reviews at the end of each week and process everything that enters into these inbox folders. Of course, I'm not actually processing each of these several hundred notes right now. So what I've done is I've created a new hashtag called to do that will designate these unprocessed notes in the main part of the vault. I can go to that hashtag whenever I have some free time and process a couple of notes. Or if I'm feeling very aggressive and guilty about not having done these things yet, and I want to get them integrated as quickly as possible, I can assign myself a daily or a weekly quota of them. Now, what you've been looking at while I've been talking is my graph time lapse. And this final moment of its reorganization is me moving these notes out of the inbox folder into this new tag. You may be wondering what happens to any new annotations that I make in a book or an article once I've moved the note out of the Readwise inbox. Excuse me, what you've been listening to in the background is the sound of my office kitten Toshi here playing with one of his toys. So I will hold him and hopefully we won't be bothered by that again. So there are several books that I haven't finished annotating yet. And this was an important issue for me. I tested it out and the answer is Readwiles will create a new note for that article or that book and it will insert the same type of new highlights added with the date and the time thing that it used to do when the original note was still in that inbox. So no change really there. I can copy and paste these new annotations from this new note to the original note, wherever I've moved it, whether it's living still in the main part of the vault or if I've already processed it and have moved it into a topic folder. And then I can delete that new note from the inbox and zero it out again. I did this time lapse with the tag view on. So that yielded me a graph where all of the notes were tied to their tags. If I turn the tag view off, then the notes are kind of released from being attracted to those tags, but they still tend to cluster in the cloud near other notes that had been tagged in that same way. And then I can go through and poke around and look at the various notes and the connections that the graph shows me. There he goes with the toy again. And I really like that ability to see what connections and clusters appear as I am working on a variety of projects in the Obsidian Graph. So I find this to be a great technique for me to add information into this and then find it when I need it and put it together with other information so that I can create some type of output. I'm working on several projects right now and it is very helpful for me to see the ways that they connect. And sometimes those ways are a little bit of a surprise. So that's fun too. So 
I hope people found this a little bit interesting. I will continue working in this, as I said, and I'll continue reporting on it as I think things are developing that people might be interested in seeing. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time.